First at 4.30, indicted. Former President Donald Trump is criminally charged for his alleged role in a hush money payment scheme involving an adult film star during the 2016 presidential campaign. Mr. Trump is expected to turn himself in next week. Now, this unprecedented move by a Manhattan grand jury raises a number of questions about how this will impact the political landscape. For more on this, we turn to Hawaii News Now political analyst Colin Moore. Now, Colin, this was widely expected for quite some time, but what was your reaction when you saw the indictment come down? You know, it's still very shocking. I mean, this is the first time in American history that a president has been indicted for a crime. It, it's never happened. In the entire history of this country, we've had presidential scandals before, impeachments before, uh, but this is the first time this has ever happened. And so I think it, you know, it to, to live in the world's oldest democracy as we do and see a former president indicted for a crime is still a very shocking thing. And because this is also new, Colin, what happens next and how do you see uh, the actual case itself developing? Well, from what I understand, you know, this is going to be a complicated case for the prosecutor to prove. Um, there's, there's a lot of things going on. Um, you know, this isn't the only one. There's, of course, another potential case coming out of Georgia. Um, but, you know, legal analysts that I've heard uh, seem to think that this, this is going to be a tricky one to prove because it's sort of a novel case that involves a lot of different laws, New York law, federal election law. Um, and I think really what's going to color the whole, the whole process, of course, is that President Trump is running for election as president again. And so uh, no matter what happens, there's going to be calls that this is politically motivated. Um, you know, there's going to be questions about whether or not, you know, this rises to the level of something where you would really indict um, a former president of the United States. Um, and so politics, much more than a normal criminal case, will be central to this. Colin, how do you see the former president and his allies and his base reacting to this? Uh, I can't believe he's going to go down quietly. Oh, he's, he's certainly not. I mean, you're already seeing evidence of this. He's already called on his supporters to, you know, to rally in his defense. Um, you know, and I think there's going to be other moderate voters who, who also might agree that this may, might seem to be politically motivated or is it just frankly, isn't appropriate to charge a former president. Um, you know, on the other side, of course, people are going to say that no one is against above the law, including the, uh, the president of the United States or a former president. Now, Colin, we've seen, you know, President Trump face scandal before, even before he was elected uh, in 2016, when the audio leaked out with the uh, tape with Billy Bush, and we saw what was happening with the Capitol 6 investigation. Um, now, with this happening in the middle of his next run, how do you envision this impacting his political future? Well, there's certainly a core base, maybe 35 percent of folks who will probably follow former President Trump anywhere and continue to support him. But I do think it's going to continue to hurt him in the areas where he's been the weakest, which is better educated voters, suburban voters. Um, and so I do think it's going to have an effect, um, not among his core supporters, but among those who are already looking for a different candidate. So I don't think this, uh, this helps. It will certainly charge up his core base, but I think um, it's going to make it harder for him to do what he needs to do, uh, which is to bring some of those suburban Republicans back into his camp. And lastly, Colin, do you expect to see any fallout here at home? Um, you mean you, you mean here in Hawaii? Yeah. Um, well, I think that you know President Trump, as we know, does ha does have some core supporters here in Hawaii. There might be a rally um, in his support, but of course, um, you know, this is a very democratic state. Um, it's not going to have any major political fallout here. Hawaii News Now political analyst Colin Moore, thank you so much for your time and insight. Thank you.